Minister of Internal Affairs General JJ Odongo addressed journalists at Uganda Media Center in Kampala on the state of affairs in Kasese district. The general, who began by giving a background to the conflict, said the cause of the Renzori clashes is steeped in its history. He cautioned journalists to disseminate with care the information on the issue. Many of you are here in Kampala. You make phone calls to your sources. And your sources tell you and you believe and you may not corroborate this. The question is, are they actually authentic? According to the minister, security agencies had to raid Renzururu King Charles Weasley Mumbere's palace on Sunday after a series of security meetings between the two parties yielded no results. He accused the king of intransigence, especially on the disbandment of the royal guards, who he says is a militia. Government said, we would like to offer you this in return for this. And there was nothing coming from the other side. Now, when they went beyond and did what they did, we said, enough is enough. The law is very clear. Nobody has the legal locus to raise and armed force. General Dongo also spoke out on the fatalities from the palace attack, the wounded and those arrested during and after the operation, as well as the pictures circulating on social media claiming that security agencies undressed people. These brothers of ours, when they retreated into the palace, they are undressed. Nobody did it, they did it as a method, as a tactic. When the security forces reacted and responded to these unfortunate attacks, we can now say 46 cultural guards have lost their lives and 149 have so far been arrested. The minister refuted claims from human rights organizations that there are other killings in the Renzori region. Security agents are continuing to investigate and to monitor the situation, appropriate legal action will be taken on all of those who will have been found culpable. On Sunday, Renzururu King Charles Wesley Mumbere was driven out of Kasese and transferred to Nalufenya police station in Jinja after the army and police attacked and moved in to disarm the royal guards at the palace. Walter Mwesije, NTV.